Good evening, guys, and welcome back to episode eight of the stream. Well, basically, stream update eight, I suppose, is the best way to call it, of uh, El Semolero, the Redondo Way, of course, a save that I'm currently taking on over on twitch.tv. Links will be in the description if you ever want to watch live or watch any of the full past broadcasts. But the whole reason behind this series is just to give you a three to four minute update in case you've missed any of the streams. So if you want to come back, watch this, I can let you know what has gone on since the last stream. So the last stream we finished against Boca Juniors, we took a 2-1 beating after being very unfortunate. And then we went and played Rosario Central. Now, Rosario Central, we sort of should have won this game, to be honest. We should have uh, we should have took the bull by the horns, took the win, and it didn't happen. We were very fortunate to come away with a 1-1 draw. Cabrera getting the goal, who's been on quite a decent run up until this point, uh, but unfortunately, it wasn't the case. Now, to command, they were sat a couple of positions ahead of us in the league, so it was always going to be a little bit tough. Um, however, we, they beat us, they beat us 2-0 and it was what it was. And we then played uh, Ferro Carrillo, a, a lower league team in the first round or the fifth round, should I say. But the first stage of the Copa Argentina, we went through 1-0 win. Again, it wasn't very convincing, but bearing in mind the level of team that we are at the moment, we just got to take what we can get. Again, Colón, Santa Fe, this is a team that we really should be beating wasn't the case we managed a nil nil draw uh, but then we did manage to book our ideas up um, we've been playing with Sam Martin we we won one nil then we beat Chikorita Juniors which was quite nice it was a 2-1 win before taking a loss to Patronato which again we should have won great news is though uh, we have managed to secure ourselves a new contract for three years so Redondo's got his contract at the club he started out at for a further three years and for extra added narrative we're currently playing with all three of the McAllister brothers in the same team we have a right back called Kevin McAllister and then we have two central midfielders called Francis McAllister and Alexis McAllister all brothers not the same age they're all brothers of different ages but narrative wise it's absolutely brilliant to have the McAllister is all playing in the same team and my plan is to try and keep them going forward um, so with a little bit of luck that will remain the same the only other thing to touch on other than the fact that we got the contracts would be of course the competition we're currently sat in 12th now bearing in mind we're in a 28 team league 12th is pretty good going but if you have a look the, the difference in points I mean if we won just one game we'd be all the way up in 8th you know so we're on 30 points the leaders Boca Juniors are on 48 uh, but yeah, so that is what it is. Tomorrow night stream, and that'll be Monday night stream, uh, will be basically the last stream of this current season. We only have four games left if we take a look at the schedule again. If we come down here, we've got games against Union de Santa Fe, Tigre, Lanus, and Racing Club. So I'm hoping to get that all boxed off tomorrow night. So maybe you want to come and join me for that. If you do, don't forget the links in the description. But other than that, guys, I'll catch you later, and I'll see you in a bit. So thanks for joining me for the stream update tonight. Don't forget, if you did enjoy the update, you can head over to my channel at twitch.tv. The link will be in the description where you can join me live or, of course, you can watch past broadcasts just in the My Videos section. While I'm here, I'd also like to mention We Stream FM. It's a group of streamers bringing together the community over on Twitch. So if you like what you see, don't forget to come and check us out. Links in the description for our Discord and also the WeStream FM Twitter. And lastly, guys, I want to mention the Five Star Potential podcast where myself and four of the other streamers come together every week to talk things all FM. So, yeah, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to come and check me out. But other than that, guys, thank you very much. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like and I will catch you in the next one. See you in a bit.